with this being the first official working day of 2024, we're also looking at some of the big tax changes that are coming into effect this year. They are going to affect short-term rentals, the Canadian pension plan, and more. CBC's Scott Peterson has this report. Canadians should get ready for a broad series of changes from federal, provincial and municipal governments getting into the new year and a lot of uh, changes tax wise and otherwise took effect as of uh, January 1st. So this is a new reality for Canadians and here's a partial list of what Canadians are going to be experiencing this year. For example, expect to pay more for your Canada mm -hmm. uh, pension plan contributions. They will be increasing for the yearly uh, total about $302 to now a new maximum of $4,045 dollars and 50 cents. Employers are also uh, expected to match that dollar for dollar. So an extra $302 for employers. This is all to, to beef up the CPP plan uh, federally. Uh, it also an interest rate on overdue taxes will increase uh, to 10 percent from 9 percent. This is a this is an order for the Canada Revenue Agency to incentivize people to pay their taxes one on time and to pay any penalties a little bit more prompter than they have been. Uh, also in International students will now have to have over $20,000 in their bank accounts before they're admitted into uh, any kind of student capacity in Canada. That's double the amount from $10,000 it was previously. Uh, also, Alberta, as of January 1st, is reinstating its provincial gas tax. Uh, residents in Alberta uh, experienced, in general, about 11% pop in, in uh, the gas prices as of January 1st. Uh, also, we're looking at the, as in regards to the housing crisis, Ottawa is eliminating short term rental deductions uh, for short-term accommodations this this uh, is in order to encourage longer term and even permanent residences and the federal government has identified Montreal Toronto and Vancouver as having 19,000 homes being operated for short-term rentals and they want to discourage that and have longer term and even permanent rentals also tax-free savings account limit was increased to seven thousand dollars per year this is an account where people can trade and hide their capital gains gains from the tax, the tax person. Originally, it was $5,000 uh, contribution back in 2009, and this is a plan, according to the Parliamentary Bureau Office, uh, that cost taxpayers about $1.6 billion, so that limit is increased uh, a little bit to $7,000 per year, but lots of changes depending on where you live in Canada. Scott Peterson, CBC News, Toronto.